I, I messed up. I deleted this video and then I was running around with this earlier and I just formatted the I pressed the format button on this thing so I'm devastated well that's what we're going to talk about in this video because I'm actually going to delete this video I wasn't joking around this video that you're watching right now if you're seeing it right now maybe we fixed it but I'm going to go ahead and delete it right now I don't need this anymore Ugh, you know there's nothing more unsightly than a full recycle bin let me just yeah I don't I don't need these there we go that's better. Wait a minute. Ah, I need this. So if you're watching this, that means that the video has been recovered. I don't know at this point if it's going to be recovered or not, but I am using EaseUs free data recovery. Right over here it is. We got some deals. I'll put all those in the description as well. We're going to download a copy of EaseUs data recovery. So I'm going to try to recover this video and I'm also going to try to recover the video that I deleted from my little gyro camera right here. If you deleted something a year ago and you've been using your hard drive over and over and over or your memory card, you've been putting files on it over and over and over, you're probably not going to be able to get your stuff back. It's probably gone. If you deleted it like today or last week and you haven't been doing too much with your device, it could still be there. How does all this work? Well, when you have a device and you delete something, What's the difference in the free and the pro version? So you can do a lot with the free version, up to two gigabytes in file size. If you need to recover stuff from your NAS, hopefully you've got stuff on your NAS backed up so you won't have to worry about that. But you know, if you need to, you'll need pro. If you need to fix those corrupted video and audio files, you'll need pro. And then if you need any remote consultation or whatever, you'll need pro, but they have all that available. And then your crash PC with a bootable USB, um, you'll need pro for that. So let me show you how pro works. Pro is either a monthly thing or a one-time thing. If you're doing this as a technician, then by all means, grab this. It's a one-time payment and it comes with lifetime upgrades so you never have to worry about it again. Um, if you need it just once, you can grab the one month and then turn it off when you're done. So, or you can get one year. So if you just need it once and you just need one file, then that might be the way to go. But I'd say for most people, if you wanna have this for like a lifetime, you just go here, and if you want to bundle it with some of their other software, you can do that and get some deals. So any coupon codes I have, I'll put them down in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. It looks like I'll just need the free version for what I'm doing for two gigabytes of data. I'm just going to click on yes and install this. It's telling you, hey, if it doesn't pop up to come up here and click on your, your downloads and stuff. But we don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and install now. You know, some of the files that I had were a little bit larger, so I might need to go ahead and unlock this. So when you first get in, you're going to see all your drives right here. Kind of cool. They know where the drive is from with the DJI logo. So you can do a number of different things. We can select a folder here and have it scan that way. Or you can have it scan the entire drive. I know which folder I want, so I'm going to select that. But you want to let it scan the entire drive. It's going to take a little bit of time. So even though I know that my stuff is over here in my videos folder right there, I'm just going to have it search the whole videos folder. Now, it's not just going to search this folder. It's going to do a full-on scan of the whole drive, and it needs to do that because sometimes uh, things are not recovered correctly unless you do a full scan so that it can really see what's going on with the data. So leave this alone. It might take a few minutes to find these files. They usually show up within like 30 seconds to a minute. All right, so far in that folder, it's already found what I'm looking for. So what I did was I copied over the original file with this ugly file name. And then I renamed it to Ease Us Data Recovery, blah, blah, blah. You can see there, MKV. And then I remuxed it to make it an MP4. So this is the one I'm most interested in. But all three of these should be the same file that were, you know, three different versions of the same file in that folder. So we'll see if we can recover any of these. Any of these will save my hide. I'm going to let it finish. So we'll just wait here. Because right now, if I say like, hey, let's recover this. Oh, it worked. Okay, you know what? Well, maybe I could try to get by with it. It wants me to wait. But yeah, it's doing a full on scan, but it looks like I can go ahead and recover this. I'm going to try. So again, I'm going to put it on a different hard drive than the one it was originally on. It's very important. If you put them on the same hard drive, see, look, we highly recommend saving the found data to a different drive or network drive. The reason for this is that if you save it to the hard drive, you may be rewriting information that's already there. So you don't want to do anything to the drive that you've lost data from. I'm going to put it on a different drive and then click save. Oh my God, it worked, yes! <laughs> oh God, it, there it is. That's amazing. 
I don't know why, but I expected this to give me more trouble. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, before I do anything, I need to copy this and put it somewhere because I don't want to lose it again. But that's really cool, and I didn't even have to wait for this whole thing. So yeah, I'm I'm done here. I want to try to recover something from an SD card. Now this was in, you've got this little picture of a drone. That's because it was in a little handheld thing, kind of like a drone. It was a DJI product. So yeah, that it knows, hey, this is a DJI, cool. Anyway, I did something weird here to test it out. I decided to shoot some footage of a bunch of my games on the shelf and I wanted to see what would happen. And I wanna show you what would happen if I formatted the memory card and then as soon as I'm finished formatting the memory card, I shot a few extra things. That's gonna make it more difficult to recover your files. You, After you like accidentally delete something, you wanna to try to recover it as soon as possible. If you start using the drive, whatever drive it is, then that could create issues because what happens is, you know, my camera or my computer says all this space you know, whatever space that used to be here or whatever space used to have these files can now be used. So while the program may be able to recover some bits of it, if the camera has overwritten the previous stuff or if my hard drive has, you know, been used and, and those files have been overwritten, then it's going to be really difficult to get it back. Now, luckily, they can do what they can to piece things together. So that's what we're going to try to do here. I'm going to try to just do a full on scan here. And then we will look at our MP4s. You'll see that like different lost things are coming up, lost file names. You're gonna have to let this wait. Sometimes you can click and just see, nope, it's, it's, gotta, it's gotta wait. And hopefully I'll be able to find some of these files. It's gonna look through all the files that I've even, you know, ever deleted or cut and pasted or whatever. Whatever remnants are here, it's gonna try to find them. And if it doesn't work, then that's kind of my fault for, you know, shooting some footage over top of this. Oh, the moment of truth. Are you ready? This did take a little bit of time, but you know, we've got 166 repaired videos and 180 files found, the good recovery, MP4. All right, all kinds of stuff. Now, a lot of these files are not like things that I deleted. They're just things I cut and pasted off of the SD card. So I'm gonna scroll through and see if I can find, let's see, all the way down here. Wow, all the way from Japan. I guess I'm gonna need to go through this carefully. I can't believe how many things that are still on this. I used it a long time ago. Is this it? No. Oh my God, there it is. This is the file I deleted earlier. It was just a file of me. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God, it was, yeah, this is just a little file of me looking through some of my games so I could show off right here on, on the video. I'm gonna recover this. Remember, we don't want to recover it to the same drive, so you don't recover it back to the SD card. I'm going to recover it to um, choose folder here, and I'm going to put it on my desktop in a folder I've created called recovery just for fun. All right, so there we go. Done. It kind of works. There's my games. I wanted to show them off, but it's a little bit glitchy because I used the camera after formatting. So that's something you really don't want to do, and I wanted to highlight that and show you what it's like, but it but for me, I'm just gonna go back over there and reshoot this. Luckily, it's not, you know, a, an interview I did with the president of Burundi or something, and then it couldn't be done because he's already flown back out to Burundi. But, but no, it's just a silly little video I shot to show you. So yeah, that one, not so much. And also look for stuff that you recently cleared out of your recycle bin right here, which is pretty cool. You know, that's really it. These programs are, almost too easy like they make it difficult for me to make a tutorial because they're very self-explanatory this one does take time does require patience so we didn't cover nas and linux but you know if you have the premium version you'll be able to recover things from your nas and from from linux so all kinds of stuff put in the ip address to ssh into your target linux device that's really really handy and then if you have a crash pc that's having trouble with all of this I do not have one of those right now, but the pro version can help you, you know, get out of these situations, which is pretty cool. Like this could be really handy, but all in all, I'm really happy that I got my file back. And uh, as far as this goes, I guess I'll reshoot it because it was, I got pieces of it back, but it was a little choppy. So it is what it is. You can't always hope to get perfect things back, especially since I had used this a couple of times after deleting it just to mess with it. So yeah, I wanted to see what would happen. But if hopefully, if you like, you know, delete something and then don't use it again, then maybe it'll be okay. So there you have it, extremely easy to use, like actually goofy easy to use. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thanks very much, Ezus, for sponsoring. And don't forget to head on over there and take advantage of some of these deals. Or, you know, if you just need the free version, then by all means, just grab that and start recovering your data. See you in the comments.